Welcome to Delightfully Styled. I'm so excited about this YouTube video. This has been a long time coming. I have been wanting to shoot this video for a while now, but I'm finally stepping into this digital underground thing. So I'm just excited about you guys um, watching this first video. And I definitely wanted to come on here and explain what Delightfully Styled is which it is a fashion and lifestyle blog. And it's just a, one of those places that women can find um, fashion on a budget, things that I may find in um, that's beneath your dollar. Um, I definitely, being a mama for boys, it's definitely something that um, is worthwhile to me to share with my readers and my subscribers. This has been a journey. Delightfully Styled has been my baby. It's something that I've coddled over the last year. Um, being a school teacher, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous to come on here and shoot this YouTube video, but as time has went on, I said I have to step into my greatness. I have to do this. I have to stop dragging my feet and definitely be something positive in 2018. And being a school teacher of third graders, my husband is a school teacher as well, and also being parents of four boys, we always talk to them about being great and just, you know, being great and choose something that you want to be great at and, you know, do it to the best of your ability. And I know that this um, blogging and fashion and this YouTube market is very saturated, but I'm hoping that I can kind of find my little niche somewhere in this market and bless somebody else. Hopefully this is an opportunity for me to just kind of infiltrate someone else's life and be something positive. I'm not trying to be famous on YouTube, but I'm definitely trying to make an impact. And hopefully that you guys walk away with something. I'm not a beauty expert, so I can't say I'm just like everybody else that watches YouTube videos for makeup. Of course, you know I love makeup. Um, I'm gonna bring you in the kitchen with me. That's something that I grew up I'm gonna share things with you that have been shared with me from the time I was a little girl up until now. And I share those things with my sons. And just because they're not girls doesn't mean that I don't want to, for them to have traditions and things that they carry with them for the rest of their lives. So this is definitely gonna be a channel of home decor, of beauty, of fashion, um, how to just make your dollar, you know, stretch for you, we're finding things on a budget, um, certain hair products, um, just things that your dollar can go a long way versus um, high-end products. You, you won't see a lot of those on my channel, but you will definitely see some things and I'll just take you with me into the kitchen and show you some recipes that my kids love, my family love. And um, it's tougher for boys to have two school teacher parents, but um, they learn a lot, they're better students for it, and we bring a lot in, you know, to our children. And um, just having them step further into being uh, great. So what I want to do today, though, is kind of share with you. I want Delightfully Styled to be a place of resource, a place of where you can find things on a budget. Um, also, that is authentic, and I share with you my life fails and my life triumphs. And that I'm not always gonna be on top. Sometimes I will fail, but we have to fail in order to get better, in order to see and grow from that process. And I will share real things with you on this um, channel. And I will also um, make sure that you guys visit my blog because that, like I said, is where you're gonna find a lot of the content. Hopefully I can shoot one video a week and be able to bring you guys some new things, new fresh content. That will keep you coming back and keep you um, with me for a while and hopefully like I said this will be a blessing for you guys in 2018 I definitely wanted to start this year off in 2018 doing something really positive and making an impact on someone else's life not just my family I'm always going to make an impact with them and try to grow them in the best way possible but I definitely feel like God is leading me somewhere else um, in this industry. So if me doing these videos is kind of stepping into my digital greatness, then I definitely want to try to get my feet wet and do those things. But what I'm going to share with you is some products that I've started out using in 2017. And those products have actually 
kind of walked with me into 2018 and I'm really excited about some of these products because most of them are drugstore products well all of them are drugstore products but I wanted to share some things that to me they've been packing a lot of power for a little bit of your money and that's the purpose I want to share things with you that um, I feel like that particular brand has put some things out there that will just work for you work for your money and you can do other things and not just have to splurge or save so much in order to get a really good product so the first thing I'm going to share with you is this righteous butter now over the holidays being on Christmas break you know us teachers we have breaks and we you know go off um for holidays over the um for about a week or two over the Christmas break and so my husband and I were in Target and this actually is in CVS or um, this is actually in Walgreens whatever your local drugstore is and it's the righteous butter and I'm hoping hoping that you guys can see this uh, really well but it's the righteous butter and the smell is like amazing I mean I just love it sometimes I open the container just to smell it like this stuff they have it in body wash i think they have it in a spray they have it in this body butter and um i also love it in the body wash i got just a little sample size pack because first of all i'm not gonna purchase something that is like a whole lot of money but it really wasn't a lot of money but i have to try things out first in a small size before i commit to a bigger size just to see if i like it but this righteous body butter um, I like putting this on after a bath because my skin is very, very dry. Um, my husband, he can go through many, many um, different types of lotions. It really doesn't matter to him, but for me, it has to have a really thick kind of emollient to it. So this right here, um, and smells matter to me a lot, but like I said, this right here is amazing. And this is kind of like me sharing with you the things that are packing, like I said, a lot of power behind the product. And this is not a sponsored post. I'm not getting paid to tell you this. I'm just sharing some things that I've really come across in 2017 that are kind of walking with me into 2018. And this is one of those products. It says it's about soap and glory. And I, I'm sure this has been out a while, but like I, I'm, I'm late, y'all. So this is um, really nice and I really like this. And on this channel, I'm going to bring things beauty and, you know, facial, skin care, you know, things of that nature. There was a time in my life I had some really sensitive skin and um, and how I overcame all of that. But this is one of those products I'm sharing with you that I think is worth a try. The other product that um, I really, really like is this Origins. And this Origins, it's uh, called Plantscription. It's an anti-aging power serum. I use this under my makeup in the morning. It says that you can use it in the a.m. and the p.m., but I use this in the morning, and I really, really, really like this stuff. Um, one thing I noticed when I put this on was that it um, it really kind of just kind of wakes you up. Like, it's like in-your-face kind of product. It I didn't think, I just thought it would be more of a moisturizer, but it definitely um, gets me going in the morning. And I'm a morning person, but... This is something that I would recommend if you're like dragging. The first place this goes is under my eyes right here. And it just, just packs a lot of power. And this is one of those products that I think is only sold like maybe at your, um, in your Macy's or something like that. That's why I said mo uh, most of the products are drugstore products, except I think this one is at the Origins counter at your mall. Macy's or Dillard's if you have one of those in your area where you live or I think maybe also I'm not sure um, But I found this and I really 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 like this like I said This is called origins and it's called plant scription and it's an anti-aging serum I mean come on people I have to make sure that I'm aging well and um, my, my boys don't think that I'm old so I definitely um, use this product another product that I like um it's more of the beauty, uh, as far as the, still in the beauty realm, is this Milani um, eyeshadow primer. And this is one of your low budget eyeshadow primers. But guys, this right here tends to pack a lot of punch. I love this eyeshadow primer. I started using this about a month, month, or two, month ago, month, month or so ago, getting tongue tied. A month or so ago, and um, 
As I was growing up as a teenager and I started, my mom started letting me wear makeup and I noticed that at the end of the day, my eyeshadow would be gone. Like it would literally have disappeared and I always wondered. But then as I started watching more YouTube videos and I noticed that I needed a primer and I've tried um, Max Painterly Pot. I've tried a lot of different primers worn by Urban Decay. But um, for me, in order to, like I said, a product that is packing a lot of punch is this Milani and it is fairly reasonable I want to say that CVS is the only one that is carrying this right now or you can go on their website Target also carries Milani um, I couldn't find this at my local Walgreens so this is probably like less than six bucks for this too but it's uh, it, it goes a long way so I really like it um, and I'm wearing it right now in this video so um, it's been on for a while and my eyeshadow is still like they say popping so I like this this is something else like I said a product that's packing a lot of punch give this a try and I think you guys might be a little bit surprised by this product and one of my um, other uh, last beauty product is this Mario Badescu skincare this right here oh my god like this is so nice smell so good like I got this recommendation from another uh, kind of like YouTube beauty guru she's been on YouTube for a while and um, and guys I will link all of this stuff down below and I will also put a link to my blog down below in the description box and this has this is Mario Badescu and it's facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea the smell cannot be beat some of these um, I use this I spray this on after I put on my makeup and to keep it in place and um, some of these um, what do you call them some of these sprays I guess um, setting sprays um, they have a very deep chemical smell and I tend to not like that smell like spraying chemicals in my face but this right here smells so nice I mean I mean, you could spray this around me all day. Um, there's another smell. Mario has one with rose water. But I want to say that this one actually is my favorite. This was an Ulta. So, there are different size bottles. This is their smallest bottle. I want to say it was like five bucks or something like this. But give this a try. The smell cannot be beat. Once again, another product that's packing a lot of punch. Ladies, you got to treat yourself. So, this is something else that has walked into 2018 with me and will be continuing to walk with me. And the last thing is not beauty related, nor is it um, fashion related, but this is kind of more of a self-care type thing. So I have this book right here, it's called Nerdy by Nature, and it has glasses on because when I'm not um, with makeup and you know a lot of things, I tend to wear my glasses and I wear them at bedtime. So that's kind of one of my down things, but um, I have lots of journals. Um, I used to journal a lot um, some years ago, but then I kind of put it down because life just gets in the way. But um, if you get a chance, make sure that you just find moments. And guys, this could be just a notes journal. This could be a gratitude journal. This could be a prayer journal. This could be a life journal. But this is just a way for you to kind of um, just write down your faith. Write down the things that you want to see come into fruition. This is just, you know, part of your walk. And being a school teacher, you know, we tend to have a lot of things that are set aside for our work habits. But I also have to have some things set aside for my personal habits and things that are going to just grow me as an individual and as a person. There's nothing in this lifetime that I want to stay still about because if God is moving, then I definitely want to move when he tells me to move. And I want to manifest those things in, in journals and being grateful and whether or not um, I write it down and I can always go back and thank God for it. And so this is um, serves as just notes and serves as, you know, things that I'm grateful for, um, things that I've manifested and I've seen come to pass. And, you know, think about that. That's the teacher part of me talking. So think about those things in the new year and as we kind of propel ourselves into our greatness. But like I said, I'm going to try to do uh, at least one video a week and bring you guys some new content. I would really love if you guys go to the blog and subscribe. Um, 
there you will see more of my family you will also get a chance to see them here but this is the opening video so um this is just me introducing um my platform and you know what i'm trying to do and and how i want to bless somebody else in 2018 but um really excited about this launch and hopefully you guys stick with me throughout this process well until then bye